Sean Sewell with EganGimmer.com in the beautiful mountains of Colorado going over the brand new Gordini Frontline lineup of gloves designed by our Gimmer colleague and my good friend Raphael Peace. These are designed for ultra lightweight mountaineering objectives uh, as well as casual use and resort use for skiing, snowboarding, and on our case, Rafi's in my case, splitboarding. So this review, I'll go over the Frontline GTX, the Frontline Overmitt, the Frontline Liners, and the Frontline Midi gloves. Let's get into this. First, we'll start with sizing. I'm a men's large, usually cross the lineup for most gloves. Every once in a while I can get into a medium. Every once in a while I need to go up to an extra large. With the Gordini, I find that large is very, very good. In fact, I'll just show you. This is the basic liner glove. It is $55. It's got a little bit of Primo Loft. And then what you see right there is a Kevlar-based palm. That Kevlar-based palm will be across the three main gloves. The Midi, which has a little more insulation. A little extra Primo Loft right there compared to the liner. But the liner will play nicely and go inside of the GTX, which is really ideal. So here you go, you have a nice layering system. The glove, the GTX has Gore-Tex, so you're guaranteed waterproof, breathable. As you can see, it has that exact same Kevlar-based palm. What that's for is handling tools and edges on skis, snowboards, and splitboards, as well as other stuff you might handle in uh, precarious situations. It is extremely durable. If you think about Kevlar, if you think about this also in correlation, the inside of your pants, if you're a mountaineer or splitboard or backcountry skier, uh, will have that super fabric, often with the Kevlar, and it's the same kind of material. It's pliable, yet really abrasion resistant, durable, and great dexterity. Like this is a size large, as you can see, there's no extra room in my fingers. It's a really, really good fit. What I like about the liner glove is it's extremely light, very simple. Just got this neoprene cuff right here. You can pack this up to dang near nothing. I'd be surprised if it weighs even an ounce. So you have a lightweight liner glove right here. And I'm simply going to slide it on. So now that the glove is on, you can see it's a really basic design. It's a soft shell material. Everything's blue sign approved on all the materials. So you can feel good about that. But there's not a whole lot of difference in my opinion between the liner glove at $55 and the midi uh, the midi just has a simple a pull tab right here which is nice you know to pull the glove on especially if you've taken your gloves off a few times and you're getting a little bit of snow in there and they're getting a little bit wet it's nice to have that additional pull uh, they have the same palm for everything i can tell it's the same palm but this one has just a little bit extra of that prima loft insulation uh, which is nice so, so this is the I guess entry level, the liner right here, and then the darker one on your right of your screen is gonna have a little more insulation, but it can still go into the overmit right here. The overmit is pretty awesome. I'll talk about that in a second. So there is one system you could use. Um, my preferred system, well, I'd, I would get the overmit. It's about $120 for overmit. It's a 10K, three layer, waterproof, breathable design. And a nice stretchy band right there to really secure the fit and then a double one right there to really ensure the confidence and this is nice grip right here is not the kevlar but it is super lightweight so like i mentioned in my previous video this kit is just incredibly packable and lightweight and there's really no reason i could see to not have at least one of the gloves and either the mitten or the over mitt because it just takes up no space and there's almost no weight penalty for these gloves which is really nice um, the over mitt right here, uh, great. It works with other gloves too. You can go over even, you know, this is an insulated glove. It could go over some other brands, soft shell gloves or touring gloves. And if you get to the, the Alpine, all of a sudden it's freezing, or you get to a spot where you need to wait for a colleague or you need to warm up, you can pop this on. And I always keep heat packs in my kit. I just pop a heat pack in here with that insulated glove and you are good to go. Of course, you could use it with just the liner glove, but like I said, the Gore-Tex version is pretty sweet. So by itself, it's a good glove. Price is about 130. You get your Gore-Tex insert, nice fuzzy inside, so it's nice and comfortable when you put it on. The, the sizing is good. Again, I'm a men's size large. Uh, when these came in a few weeks ago, it was perfect timing because we had a nice storm and I was out shoveling the sidewalks for my neighbors and myself. And then I took them up winter camping and I took them up split boarding the last two weeks. So I put them to the ringer. They have pretty good dexterity. There's some other gloves out there that have better dexterity. And they're a little bit loose, as you can tell. 
but that's intended because you can layer the liner glove underneath. So again, this could be a one-two punch right here. So you get the liner glove and you get this, and then you got a great system or a great backup system to keep in your uh, winter camping setup or in your backpack when you're using your primary gloves. Maybe your primary gloves are Hestra or Mountain Hardware or whomever, and you're just used, or Flylo, or you're just used to using burly leather gloves. They're heavy, they're awesome, but what happens if you lose one of them or both of them? It's nice to have this kit as backup because it's not a big weight penalty. And again, even the biggest of the gloves packs up to dang near nothing and is very, very lightweight. And again, all Blue Sign approved materials. What are some drawbacks? Um, the only drawback that I can really see is they're not E-tip compatible, which if you're out mountaineering, you're not busting out your iPhone, taking pictures, you probably have a videographer with you or you're in the moment and you're just enjoying it. Uh, a little bit of background here for Raphael Peace. He has made, I think now five splitboarding movies. And he always has a, a person filming him. He's worked with Teton Gravity Research in the last few years. He's been in movies with Jeremy Jones. So at his level, when he just designed these gloves, I don't think he cares about E-tip. I don't think he's busting out his iPhone to send text messages. He's off on crazy peaks in South America or up in Alaska, and he's focused on the line and surviving. So for him, you know, when he designed these, these functioned for that aspect. Lightweight and, you know, ecological uh, warrior, make sure everything's blue sign approved and recycled where possible. And then straight up Kevlar, because that's how Rafi rolls. Not just parts of the fingers of Kevlar, it's the whole thing is Kevlar. So very durable, very lightweight, very packable, eco-friendly. Uh, cost is fair for what you're getting. And then of course the system plays nicely with each other. So hopefully seeing the sizing, the functionality, the, the dexterity and the lineup from the liner to the midi, to the overmit, to the top dog, the GTX is helpful. Hopefully you've seen it on me is helpful. If you have experience with any of the front line, please share below. And heck, I'm gonna reach out to Rafi and see if we can get him on the podcast. We can talk more about designing the Gordini gloves as well as what missions he's up to and who he's working with this season. That'd be a lot of fun. If you found this helpful, two thumbs up would be great. If you want to see more content on more gloves and more splitboarding gear, which I'm about to go do in a minute, then consider subscribing to our Engagement YouTube channel. There's a link right there. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Engagement. Until next time. Take care.